All right, so as the title says, this is how to take apart a burnt up motor and get the magnets out of it, take the shaft out, whatever you want to do. So the, the first part when taking it apart is on the very back here. There is a C-clip right here, and that is on the main shaft. It's right there. And that's what's keeping the motor from coming apart. So that's the first thing that we need to take off. Now this can be hard to take off and usually taking them off I lose them but you can do it very carefully with pliers and get under there and just pry it off which is pretty hard to do or if you want to risk losing it you can just put your two thumbs like that and just pry it off okay so the c-clip is off you can see that right there we'll put that aside that went on there okay our next step is there is on this motor there's a set screw right there and there is also one on the other side right there. And to get that undone, you're just going to get um, little Allen, Allen keys, I guess that's what they're called, and just unscrew those. You don't have to take them completely out, you just need to loosen them. Alright, so I've got my Allen key, and this is going to be using the 1.5 millimeter, I guess. I don't know if that's what most of them are, but... That's what this one is at least, so that's what most of my motors are. Alright, so once you have both of your set screws loosened, then all you have to do is grab the back, or like the part not on the shaft, and a shaft, and then just pull apart. And they should come apart like that. Just that easy. And this is called the bell, I guess. And it has the shaft, so if you ever bend it, that's how you replace your shaft. And also, this has the magnets. Those are the magnets right there that are uh, pretty precious that will be taken out. And this is uh, all the wiring and bearings. And uh, I don't really know how to explain this part, but yeah, there's some pretty intricate stuff in here. And here's a, a washer. Alright, so to get the magnets out of here, what I do is take a uh, flat blade screwdriver, I guess that's what they're called, and just put it in between two of them. And then pry. And there we go, one just came out. And then you can take some pliers and get them out. Oh look, I got two on that one. How about that? Some of them are pretty hard to take out, but definitely worth it. I guess they're just glued in there, so you all you have to do is just break the glue. And then they uh they come out. So I'll uh, finish these and then I'll show you what it looks like. Woo! Got it. Yay. Okay. So this is uh, what the magnets look like when you get them. Pretty nice. These ones uh, are square, pretty small, so I don't really know how strong they'd be, but there's a lot, so you could probably double them up or something. These are magnets I got off, whoa. These are some magnets I got off another motor, and you can, gosh, magnets are annoying. You can see the size difference. But, yeah, so took me about five minutes and I got 22 magnets so 
I don't know, I think that's pretty bit, pretty good for a, a motor I was just going to throw away. That's what the inside looks like after the uh, magnets have been removed. So, if you liked the video, don't forget to subscribe.